Turn the ignition switch to the off position and disconnect your battery. Remove the timing hole plug so that you can check for top dead center. Rotate the engine until your front cylinder is on the compression stroke. Continue to rotate the engine until the top dead center mark is visible through the timing hole. You should also verify that you are at top dead center by checking that the front push rods spin freely. If necessary, remove the existing distributor. Use a hex key wrench to remove the two button head screws from the top of the distributor and then pull the top cover off the distributor. You will then slide the cover down the module wiring harness. Remove the two quarter inch hex standoffs and then pull the module out of the housing. Leave the housing resting on the distributor base assembly. If the housing is removed, you must place it back on the distributor base assembly with the locator pin and the small drilled hole aligned. Hold the distributor base with the aluminum module housing attached out in front of you and look down at the top so that you can see the gold anodized shutter wheel. Now position the unit with the machined half inch slot in the aluminum module housing between the 11 and 12 o'clock position. The standoff screw holes must be at the 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock positions when the half inch machine slot in the module housing is between the 11 and 12 o'clock position. Now slowly turn the distributor shaft until the longer wall of the anodized shutter wheel is positioned to the right and the shorter wall is positioned to the left. One shutter wheel opening should line up with the machine slot and the other shutter wheel opening should be at the 7 o'clock position as shown in this picture. If one shutter wheel opening is lined up with the machine slot but the other opening is at the 5 o'clock position, you just have the short side of the shutter wheel to the right and the longer side to the left. Simply rotate the shaft halfway and align the shutter wheel opening to the machine slot. The other shutter wheel opening should now be at the 7 o'clock position. Now place the distributor in the motor and be absolutely certain to maintain the positioning. You may need to remove the aluminum module housing to clear the push rod covers or cylinder head. As you position the distributor into the motor, face the machined slot in the module housing toward you so that when the module is installed, the wiring harness will face the motor exiting the module cover between the push rod tubes and cylinders. Once installed, verify that the orientation of the shutter wheel and the housing did not change. You will install and snug the distributor clamp so that the housing does not move when installing the module and module cover. If the housing should turn, your distributor will not fire at top dead center. If it did move, simply turn the housing so that the shutter wheel opening lines back up with the machine slot. Now install the module in the upper housing using the two hex standoffs centered in the adjustment slots. You can even add a drop of removable Loctite on the threads to prevent the standoffs from vibrating loose. If needed, adjust the switches on the module from the factory settings to change single or dual fire modes, advanced curve, or rev limiter settings according to our supplied chart. Install the top cover using the two button head screws so that the wire harness will exit the top cover between the push rod tubes and the cylinders. If the harness does not line up, repeat this step. Simply turning the housing with the distributor installed would otherwise change your timing. Finish tightening the distributor clamp and route the wire harness loom through your frame to your coil. Complete your installation by wiring according to the appropriate diagram for your coil configuration.